Okay, let's check her out. I'm liking that. The foot thing's fixed. I got it attached over here. I even went ahead and secured this face frame down here with the finish nail. I also did it down over here. I pre-drilled those holes first, put some, uh, some finish nails in there and attach it. I'm going to make a corporate decision that I'm not going to put any more screws in. Remember I told you I might put two here, two in over there. Well, this is still flexing a little bit because this uh, face frame is moving ever so little from this cabinet. And you know what? I think I could fix that too. Maybe I should put another finish nail there. I, I just really didn't want to put a finish nail there though. Because if I do that, then you're going to see the head of the finish nail. Okay? With this door closed, you're going to see the finished nail right there. I don't have a putty stick here. And um, I'm choosing to think I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. So I'm not going to put any more screws in here. Yes, this still wiggles ever so slightly. But I still got it in between there. I've got it mounted down at the bottom there. And I'm liking it. Yeah. One more thing I got to do. I'm gonna. Put, I got to put the uh, um, the plastic bag in there, and I'll show you how to do that. If there's nothing else that you've learned on this video, maybe you can learn how to put this plastic bag in because there's a right way and a wrong way. All right, be right back. Okay, now for the sake of argument, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bag back in. But see, it only comes out so far, so you got to lift up on it a little bit and get it over that bottom lip and pull it out that far. That's what we want. That way, put this trash bag back in. Because there's, there's a little bit more life to it. Let's see, if I can, let's see if I can even fit it in there. And if you get trash compactor bags, they're a little bit stronger than like kitchen bags, let's say. Then you're just going to fit them kind of over this lip here. And I, I try to get this flat and I got the pull strings off to the side. I'm going to push that all the way across there and then I'm going to kind of pull on it at the ends and it kind of fits down in there like that. You want to keep this all off to the sides because as you push it back next time you get ready for the trash compactor uh, section it pushes right down in the middle so in order to push it back in see I can only go so far before it hits now I lift up on it get it over the wheel and slide her in there you go there mark that off my list so next time you need to open your trash compactor you can pull it right here like that you can push on there just a little bit and get it pulled out a little bit further so you don't have to reach as far in there and then pull it or no hands you can just do that that's what I like about that bottom thing but you can only put your foot in there so far so you know try it a few different ways on how you want to do it and if that's too difficult for you pull it out right here there you go Now here's a very important tip I don't want you to miss. Okay, I'm cleaning up and sure enough this was the bit that I broke and you don't see the, the size of it. Go on the back side and see right there, there it is, eighth inch. That's what I need and I would encourage you to make it a point on your next trip to your hardware store or even before that you know, even if you weren't planning on going to the store, go by after work or something like that, or on the weekend, whatever, and get yourself a couple extra bits. You know, this one's an eighth inch bit, and by the way, eighth inch is something that you use for lots of things. So you might want to get a couple of them, then you've got an extra in case that ever happens again. Now, if you don't do that, and a couple months come by and pass, 
or a few weeks and you have another job that needs a drill bit, guess which one you're gonna need? Yeah, the broken one. It seems to happen like that all the time. Then you're scrambling to figure out something else on how to drill your hole or how to do it a different way, okay? So get those drill bits and get them now. There's a tip for you. Oh, and last but not least, clean up after yourself and get that rug flipped back over. See, if you didn't have a rug there at all, I wouldn't want you to scratch the floor. If you might have linoleum there, this is, this is a tile floor, but you could still mark up the tile. You could mark up your linoleum. You can mark up laminate flooring or actual wood flooring. So put a drop down when you're working or uh, flip your rug over and work off of that if you have to. Oh. Oh. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.